Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to share today a really sort of nasty um, type inference case that I came across in a, in a patch that I'm working on uh, which, uh, which simplifies a part of, of GHC's type inference. Uh, so, so here it is up on the screen. So, so first off, we'll, we'll start with the fact that uh, this actually is meant to compile. So it's good to sort of have that in your head that this is a, a case that we want to accept. Um, and and let's, let's walk through the code here. So here uh, we have a type family that extracts the thing out of a maybe, right? It's unmaybe A, so unmaybe of maybe of B is just B, right? Um, and those of you who don't know type, type families are just like functions, but they operate on types. So this is just sort of extracts the, the B out of the maybe. Um, and then we have some rather boring class C. Um, we have an instance of C over any maybe type. There's no uh, there's no context over here, um, and it just this this method of the class uh, is just always going to be nothing. That works any type, so that's fine. And and here in my in my function f, um, I use meth. Well, I use meth at what type? At type e for some e, and this is the key bit here uh, in this example, right? That I want to say that e must actually be a maybe type. Um, now, I could, of course, just write out the maybe here, and that works in this case, of course, but it doesn't work in the general case. So this is a contrived example, but this comes up in, in, in reality. I'll show in, in, a, in a minute or two where it comes up. Um, but we want, uh, we want to accept this. So, so let's think about how GHC is, is going to process this. Um, so uh, as we're looking at, at this, this constraint here, this E equals maybe of unmaybe of E, that is a given, uh, right? We know that's true. So we have a given, E is maybe unmaybe of E. Um, and then we have a wanted, that wanted is, well, if meth is going to be at type E over here, then we need to have a C instance. Whoops, I should really highlight this. We should have a C instance for E. So we have a wanted CE. So this is a, a fairly standard notation within GHC for givens and wanteds. We want to prove the wanteds from the givens. So with the way that GHC processes these, these constraints is it looks at the given first, and it says, OK, so we want to process this. And what we want to do eventually is use this for rewriting. We want to be able to say, every time we see the thing on the left, we're going to exchange it for the thing on the right. The problem is, is that this one is no good. Right? E is mentioned on the right-hand side, even though this is actually perfectly well-formed. There's nothing wrong with this, but if I use it for rewriting, we're going to have a disaster. And so when I get to this wanted, so actually when GHC processes this given, it says, well, this is okay, but I'm not going to use this for rewriting because I don't want disaster. Um, so it marks this as, as a, a, an irreducible. Um, that's its, its sort of internal notation. Anyway, when we get here, it wants to prove CE, but then it has nothing to go on. There's no way it can make any progress because it can't use this given for rewriting. Um, and, and so sort of naively, uh, a program like this would, would be rejected. And, and in fact, in my, uh, in my uh, branch that I was working on, that's exactly what happened. This got rejected. And so, uh, you know, scratching my head, and I had the, a long call with Simon PJ brainstorming about this. And, and then we decided, you know what? Let's just give up. We'll, we'll, we'll say that, that users who, who do this are, are being silly. They, they, should, they shouldn't do that. Don't, just don't do it. Um, and I didn't really like that answer, but I didn't have a practical case. Yeah, there was some, there was some test case buried in our test suite, but it could, it could be re rejiggered to avoid this problem. So I was like, OK, maybe that's OK. So I go on and I say, well, we'll just sort of accept this regression um, and apologize. Um, but then it turns out GHC itself couldn't compile because we do this kind of crazy thing in GHC. So it's, let's let's take a quick look at that. So that's oh not GHC that one I want this one uh, compiler GHC oh it's HS uh, no it's not it's in the parser what am I talking about it's in the parser post process is where the problem is and if we look there's a disamb ECP class where is it uh, here it is and look. In the superclass constraint to disamb ECP, which is about disambiguating expressions, commands, and patterns, um, let's not get into all of that right now. But here, here, as as highlighted, um, we we see that we're doing this same kind of thing where we have a type variable that equals some expression involving itself. 
And so GHC couldn't compile. So I, I went back to Simon and said, no, no, we really have to fix this. We, we use the idiom ourselves. So it's not just crazy people. Well, okay, I didn't prove that it's not just crazy people. But, but in any case, we need to, we need to solve the problem. Um, so, so, okay, so here we are. How are we going to solve the problem? And, and the realization is, well, the problem is, is, that, is that E can't rewrite to something with itself. But what if we just changed it? And said, "Oh, it's not e anymore. It's it's some e prime. Um, and if it's some e prime, well, then when we get to this wanted, this is going to be okay because this will rewrite to c of maybe of unmaybe of e prime. Um, and then that will succeed. Hmm. So that seems to work. And and in fact, this is this is what we originally implemented." Um, as, as the idea is that we just invent this new variable e prime and say that, that e we replace on the right hand side instead of e we just use e prime and then we can do the rewriting. Um, so uh, so indeed this works and I can show you in fact that it, that it really works. Let's um, go to the interesting part of the compiler. Um, so this is in the type checker as part of the solver in canonical. Um, so all of this action happens around this function break tie var cycle and um, so right now in my branch, uh, this is working, as I said, but uh, let's let's turn it off. So after all these checks for this very special case of when we need to break the tie bar cycle, I'm just going to add uh, a false here. Um, and let's go over here and recompile. Um, so it's recompiling. Oh, pattern match has inaccessible right hand side. Ooh, GHC is very clever. It knows false is false. But we can be cleverer. Okay. Uh, aha, my not true has fooled it. Um, and so now if I go into the test suite and then this test is given loop, it does a lot of stuff. But then we find, indeed, we cannot deduce CE arising from a use of, of meth. So this this extra check, this breaking a cycle, this is all of the code here uh, that actually changes that e to e prime. And, and, and then it works. Um, but there is one small wrinkle, and that is we can have an even tougher case. So let's go here. Instead of given loop, um, let's look at a harder case, which is T18875. Um, so this means it came from ticket 18875, which I'll, I'll link to in the description. Um, and here we have a harder case than the one that we just saw in that this requires rewriting twice. Um, so let's, let's again look at the constraints. So we're going to have a given constraint that, that is born as maybe g e equals maybe g e f. And here our wanted constraint isn't a class constraint, but it's saying that this just x, if, if we have h of just x equals x, and the argument is e, and the result is f, then that must mean that e has to be maybe f. Um, and and so here, let's let's use our, our, our little magic. And instead of maybe g e f, it's going to be g e prime f. Um, and so then this wanted gets nicely rewritten to maybe g e prime f equals maybe f. Whoops. Um, and then that gets simplified to g e prime f equals f, but that's not enough. What I really need to know is I need to know that e prime is itself a maybe so that this g up here can reduce, right? Because here g will only reduce when the first argument is a maybe. Oof. So we have to sort of use this trick again somehow. So it turns out that we're going to use a more powerful trick. We're not going to replace e with e prime. What we're going to do is we're going to take this whole type family application over here and replace this with some fresh variable. I'll call it Q. Whoops, that didn't work. Q. And then we'll make a new given that says Q really equals G of E F. Okay, so we have this, we have this setup here, but but actually we still have to be careful, right? Because this is still going to have infinite regress because E is going to rewrite to something involving Q, Q is going to rewrite to something involving E. So we're, we're not going to do that. Instead, we would set things up the other way around, um, uh, that it would look that it would look a little bit like this. Um, but now, actually, we can go. This will end up going one step further because if e equals maybe q, we're going to use that to rewrite this other given into something like this. 
So we see that g of maybe q of f equals q. So, um, and then, now that we've rewritten e to become maybe q here, we can reduce this using our, our equation for g. And so this further reduces to f equals q. And now that we've done that, this becomes quite simple. Uh, because we see that e equals maybe f, well, e equals maybe q. Um, and then f, if f equals q, then this is really just a check for maybe q equals maybe q, and that's easy. Um, so this case here um, is actually uh, handled by, by our new approach, and even though this is not accepted in GHC today. So if I try to compile this, it can't do this today, but our new technique works for it. Uh, so I hope this has been interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.